guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I'm bringing you guys episode number 19 of Hot Roulette. And last episode, we ended off with a 13 game win streak, pretty crazy, and then we are going into a 14th and 15th game win streak this episode for our Hot Roulette series. But if, if you guys watch my old Pack Squads video, I mean the one I posted four or five days ago, you will know that I lost three games in a row, which uh, in, in turn made me get relegated to Division 2, which is a little bit unfortunate. So uh, the thing is, I don't have time to, you know, play out Division 2 with a main team. It's just too many points. I just kind of want to get started with this Hut Roulette episode before I go back home to Mississauga. So unfortunately, we're starting in Division 2. I apologize about that, but... Uh, I'll talk about what I'm going to be doing with pack squats in a later video, but anyways, we're going to get started to uh, episode number 19 of Hot Roulette. Let's take a look at the team before we start our first game, but right now, I don't really want to make any changes. The team looks really nice right now, and I, I really don't think anybody needs to be moved. It's been pretty solid so far. First line is looking like Patrick Kane, Patrice Bergeron, and Rick Nash. The second line, James Neal. Joe Pavelski, I know I said Jordan, I, I apologize, it's Joe Pavelski, as well as Gustav Nyquist, Patrick Marlowe, Tyler Johnson, Blake Wheeler, as well as our fourth line, Gabriel Landeskog, Logan Couture, and Wayne Simmons. So, our offense is really just kind of solid, I mean, no one is out of place in my opinion, so if we do get some more pickups, uh, we're going to have a little bit of a hard time replacing some of those players. So, going on to the defense now, we got Garrison, we got Bobrovsky, Cronwall, we got Hamilton, we got Mark Stahl. As well as the Johnson Twins. I know they're not related. Someone said that, oh, like, they, they pointed out that I said the Johnson Twins. I thought they were related, but they aren't. I, I know that. It's just kind of like a joke. Because I have, I've been playing with these uh, Johnson guys for so long on all the NHL series since, like, NHL 13. So, I just kind of call them that from now. I just call them that because, I don't know, just easier to say. Anyways, that's about it. Uh, we are on a 13-game win streak, like I said. So, if we can get two games, one in a row... We can buy a special card on our 15th game win streak. We can also buy an 8750 pack. So lots of things to look forward to in this episode. So let's get started into the first game. Let's see if we can win. All right, so here is the first game. He's got Rick Nash, Kopitar, and Pavel Burry on his first line. So it's definitely kind of a scary team, but we're going to get this game started. Let's see what we can do. Oh, what a move by Simmons. Oh, come on. How did I go in? Nice little backhand or double backhand, I guess, but couldn't tuck it. All right, come on, Kane. We got the puck now. All right, Kane's got the puck. I think oh, he's just standing right in the middle. Pass it across. Shoot. Ah, oh, there it is. Rick Nash tucks in the garbage, and we make it one to nothing. That line, man, it is just very, very good. I, I really like it. It's a nice little compliment with Nash and Patrick Kane on it, but right now, it's one to nothing. We'll keep going the first. All right, so end of the first period. We're playing pretty well. Let's take a look at the stats here. Six to two in shots. Three minutes time on attack to two minutes, so we're playing good so far. Let's see if we can keep it up in the second period. Oh, what a save by the goalie. I thought I was there. Come on, don't let him get another cross crease. Nice save by Bobrovsky. Let's keep it up. Oh, come on. Oh, what a tip. Is that Rick Nash again? It's the second goal of the game. Nice little tip past his goalie. And we make it two to nothing. That's what I'm talking about. On the uh, power play as well. That's what, that's what I like to see. Two to nothing. Let's keep it up. Ooh, trying to get Rick the hat trick, but no trick for Rick. That's going in. Garrison skate around. That's what I'm talking about. He just gets a shot on net, but Milestone Garrison, he has some magic hands and gets it past Anderson. I think that just trickled by the blocker. I don't know what happened. It was like just a straight shot. <laughs> Look at that celebration. He doesn't need to celebrate. He, he's getting he's doing a lap. Getting ready for the next goal. But alright, three to nothing. End of the second period. That was pretty lucky, but eight point second eight point two seconds left. We'll go right into the third. Oh, 
Oh, he's got the break. Oh, no, he couldn't pull off the double backhand with Chris Kreider. It's sick left. Come on, get that puck. Get the puck. Let's go. Pass it up to Pavelski. Deke him out. Deke out Yandel. One more time. Shoot. Yes, and it does go in. Jesus. That is just lucky. James Neal right through the five hole. Honestly, I was just not even aiming for that, but it still kind of trickled in. And there it is. Another goal, making it four to nothing. Nice little pass to Goose. Five hole. Oh, no. Thought I would do something different. I mean, four to nothing. We're not really going to lose this game, so. All right. We couldn't get Rick the hat trick, but still. We win with a score of four to nothing. Got to. Make sure Bobrovsky doesn't let that one in. Oh, man. All right. Anyways, we did win the first game of the episode. So that means that we're on a 14-game win streak. We can raise that by now minimum to 14K. So let's just take a look at the amount of shots, and we'll go ahead and buy that player. All right. So pretty good coach feed, Pat. Let's take a look at the stats. 23 to 15 in shots. 7 minutes, 47 seconds time of attack to 6 minutes and 16 seconds. So, I mean, he got a couple shots on net, but not really any sustained pressure that he could do some cross creases or anything too special. But the three stars, Rick Nash with two goals. Bobrovsky, of course, getting the second star, getting that shutout. As well as the third star, uh, Patrick King getting two assists. So, I'll make sure to go ahead and buy a change team or change position on a player as well. But we'll go ahead, go choose a 23rd player. I'll meet you guys in the market. Alright guys, so the collection type has been put onto players. Buy now range has been put onto 14,000. That is absolutely crazy. We should be able to get something pretty good in this pickup. So let's choose the 23rd player. Let's see what we get. So it's going to be, once it searches, god damn, that's a really long search time. Alright, anyways. Alright, we're going to be picking the 23rd player and the 23rd one's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, Alexander Ovechkin. Holy crap. What a pickup for this team. All right, guys. I'm going to buy him out. I'm going to throw him to the team. We'll see where he fits in. All right, there we go, guys. We added in Ovechkin into the first line left wing spot. I also put on a Boston change team on him uh, because we did get that shuttle last game. And look at that lineup. Ovechkin, Patrice Bergeron, and Patrick Kane on that first line. I don't, I don't even know how hard it is going to be to match up a player onto Hutt, but we'll see how it goes. But on the second line, we moved down Rick Nash to that second line, which makes it a lot better, actually. He's playing alongside with Pavelski and James Neal taking out Gustav Nyquist and putting him on the third line. And we did have to remove uh, Patrick Marlowe out of this team just because there was no more spaces. And I do like Gustav Nyquist a little bit more than Patrick Marlowe because he hasn't really performed that much, in my opinion. And the fourth line has been untouched. So that is pretty much how the team is looking like right now. We're going to get started into the second game of this episode. Let's see how we can do with Ovechkin in our lineup. All right, here we go, guys. The second game of the episode. He's got Voracek, Couture, Kinsey, who was on his left wing there. But let's get this game going. Ovechkin, just rip it. All right, let's get this game going. Let's see what we can do. Oh, come on. Slip right through the five hole. Rick, shoot it! There it is. His guy gets right in front of Bishop. And, uh, oh, that was James Neal who tucked that in. Right along the ice. And we make it one to nothing. Nice quick goal in the first period. Looking pretty good. That's what I like to see. T from Tyler Johnson to Rick Nash. Just a little cross creaser. Yeah, just too much open space. He got in the way of his own goalie. That was a nice little goal. Wow. He actually got that one in. What, who scored that? Was that? I think that was Max Domi who sniped ch top cheese on Bobrovsky. Not a bad goal. All right. Tied one to one. Definitely underestimated Max Domi there, but nice little goal. Just came in down. I thought Bobrovsky kind of had the positioning, but all right. One to one. Tied back up. We got to get that goal back. Oh, come on. Off the post. Couldn't tuck it in in the final seconds, but it's still one-to-one. -one. Let's take a look at the stats before we uh, go into the second period. All right, so seven to five in shots, four minutes time on attack to two minutes and 17 seconds. 
We're playing good so far. Let's see if we can get a couple goals in the second period. Let's not let this lead go to waste. Oh, come on. What a shot by uh, Ovechkin there. Off the post and out. That's going in. Oh, Couture was right in front of the net playing goalie for Bishop. Jesus. Oh, Ovechkin had the breakaway. He just couldn't tuck it in. Thought I'd do a backhand for him, but just couldn't get it by. Oh, no. And right away, he scores a cross crease around me with Jakob Borchek. And now we're losing 2-1. to one. That is not a good goal to give up right now. We got to get that one right back. Let's see if we can do it. Oh my goodness. And there is another goal. Who was that for, who scored that? That was just a slap shot from the point and just beats Bobrovsky. I think maybe Bobrovsky was screened there, but Justin Falk that scored that goal. That is not a good goal to give up. We need that one right back. We got 12 minutes to score two goals. Can we do it? Oh man, and just like that, we lose a game in Division 2 to 3-1 to one against this guy. Oh man, I thought I'd definitely outplayed him, but still, he got a couple goals on me. I just could not come back from that uh, two-goal deficit. So let's take a look at the stats there. We have to restart that by now minimum back to 50, which is kind of unfortunate, but 18 to 16 in shots. 9 minutes time on attack to 8 minutes and 40, so he did, it was actually a pretty even game. Let's take a look at the three stars, Jakob Borchek, Justin Falk. And Max Domi all getting three stars. I mean, oh, I felt like everything was going in. Everything was shooting. I don't know. Not going to complain, though. We'll go ahead, go back into the marketplace. We also have to remove a player off our team because we did lose a game. Hopefully, we do not lose our first line left wing. So, I'll meet you guys back on uh, XSplit, or I mean, random.org, and we'll choose a player to remove off the team. Alright guys, so we're on random.org, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste every single position on the team. There should be a total of 20 different players that you can pick off the team. So let's put into the list and randomize and see who we have to remove. And it's going to be the second line center. Alright, so we'll go ahead, go back into the team, and then we'll take off the second line center. Alright guys, so we're back on the team, and the second line center we have to remove is Joe Pavelski, which is a little bit unfortunate because we just picked him up last episode, but we'll remove him from the lineup, and then we'll throw in another player back into the team. Alright, so in the second line center spot, I'm going to put up Logan Couture from the fourth line to the second line, so now he's playing alongside with James Neal and Rick Nash, just to fill in Joe Pavelski's spot for the meantime, as well as the fourth line I put back in from the dead, Brian Little, uh, he was in our hut team before, but we had to remove him because we had too many centers, so he will be the replacement for now, but that's pretty much how the team is going to look like for episode number 19 of Hut Roulette. Unfortunately, we can't get a pickup because we did lose a game, so uh, we will try to continue this streak once again in episode number 20 of Hut Roulette, but still pretty crazy. We picked up Ovechkin. Uh, you guys can let me know if you want to see any different lines. Uh, you can let me know in the comment box below. If you think they're okay, you can let me know as well uh, in the comments. So, that's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching episode number 19 of Hub Roulette. If you guys did enjoy it, leave it a like. But that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh my goodness. Come on. Shoot it. Oh, pass the glove, but you can't tuck one for the white glove. There it is, Hoffman. Wire it. Oh, Barlama, another big team. Can't score a goal.